And now we are going to post process the uh, connection model shell. So first uh, open your uh, CAE model that is uploaded on the Blackboard and then create the job, run the job. When the, run, the job is completed, go to the results. And in the database, we will, will be focusing on the deformation. So press U and uh, mostly U2. And now we are going to create a set of paths that we'll, we will use for extracting the deformation to uh, calculate the angle for the MV uh, characterization of the connection rotational stiffness. And to do that, just first look what we are supposed to do. So we are supposed to find path number one, two, three, four, six, and five, which is going to be here on the axis. So now, step by step, I'm going to create all the appropriate paths in the abacus and then export the data to Excel for further processing. First, we go to the tools path and create. And now we create path as a node list, click continue, add after, and create the first path, which will be here. Start point, end point, done. OK. Next path, path number two, add after. Path number two, we are going to create here. Path number three. Path number four. And path number five. Add after. Axis of the column. And path number six. Axis of the beam. OK, all the paths that we've created are here. So now we can view them if we want. And now we are going to extract the data on the path. So we choose the XY, create XY data and path, continue. And then for path number one, we are need a deformation U2. But add uniform spacing. And look at the path if we are covering all the elements. Then save it as U2 on path number one. Then do exactly the same thing for path number two. Also for U2. Save as U2 for path number two. So on for path number three. And the same for path for path number four. Whereas for path number five, uh, we also need a U2, but make sure that the 10 is enough. I for path number six, we are more interested not in the U2 but in the U3. So change the field output for U3. Then you can observe the gradient and change 
save it as, as a new free path number six. Okay. Now in the XY data in the tree uh, of the ODP database, you can see the, all the paths and plot them all together. So now we are going to get, since this is only available as long as you keep the abacus open, if you close, even if you save and close the abacus, now you're going to lose this data because they are only available for the current uh, session. So we are going to reuse this data by transferring to them to Excel. So first we are going to copy this path into the uh, this data into the 